some more wall throws and we're gonna be working on the half turn. What do we do and what are we working on in terms of hip position, delivery angle, all that good stuff, we're gonna talk about it in this video, so check it out. Everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtay Throws Nation, and today we are going to continue talking about wall throws for the rotational shot put. If you're watching me in this camera, you're gonna see we just found a wall, and this is what you're gonna have at your disposal. Find the outside, a cinder block wall of a gym with some concrete around it, a sidewalk. These are the types of things that are really gonna be advantageous to training. Now, if you're in a place where the weather's not really conducive to that, again, try to find a corner inside a gym someplace where you have just some open wall and you have concrete and an indoor shot and you're in business and you can get a ton of reps in. And that's oftentimes what you're gonna have is the case when you've got a gym and it's basketball season and they have the priority, you need to carve out some space so you can get your drill reps and your wall throws. So what one of the things we're gonna do if you looked at Carson demonstrated for us in the discus and the reason I wanted to use him for the rotational shot is one, he switched to it last year, but two, there's, a, there's always the challenge of learning the techniques, the technique in the shot shot put is not the same for the discus. We have a smaller circle, the implement sitting on top of us, and for those obvious reasons, it's really imperative that we understand some key technical differences. Now, that being said, we still follow the format of the same six pillars. We have our pillar one through six, we're setting our trigger, and we're setting up maximum power. Everything's the same in terms of the six pillars, but the actual execution and some of the positions are different, and that's what's really important to do. So one of the things we're going to do with the shot is we're going to be a little bit more conscious of a little bit more loaded type position. So Carson's going to set up and remember the first thing we always focus on when we're doing um, a half turn or we can call it refer to it as modified wheels is we want to create the right alignment and we're going to be conscious of how do we find the orbit and how do we set up the right axis and the biggest thing that we recommend is that you're always kind of training a left to right. So assuming you're a right-handed thrower we're going from the sprint to the to the middle so that's the left to right. If you're a lefty you'll be going right to left. Left. But we always want to have our motion where we're moving in right this way versus being on top and just staying on top. Now again, I understand the purpose of that is to teach the rotational axis, but the axis doesn't just rotate vertically. It ha it angles through the middle of the throw. So this is why in our system, again, in the throwing chain reaction, we're always trying to mirror the movements that most represent the actual throw so that there's more carryover and transfer. That's what we're focused on. So one of the core things we're gonna do is we're gonna set up and we're gonna be setting up our sequence, our chain reaction. So we're gonna get Carson in and he's gonna start here. So yesterday you noticed we had them just kind of wind like this and what we're going to do is have them starting here with the arm out in front of them and he's going to be able to rotate around to throw. So go ahead we'll have him demo. So typically I have him show me show what I typically would have you do. So <laughs> he would kind of wind up and we would be forcing stretch reflex. But what we're going to do and recommend for a lot of throwers is we're going to just do a little bit more of, of a small little tiny short wind, create tension, stretch, reflex, and what he's gonna be doing is doing his push-pull, sinking more, and then we're gonna be able to get our throws. So we're gonna cue it up, and we're gonna do a bunch of throws, and again, the point of the wall throws is we can get a ton of reps in in a short period of time. We're only throwing here, so we're not gonna be chasing distance, we're not focusing on distance, this is gonna shift your focus to what you need to be doing technically. Okay, so not bad. So what we're one of the things that we're focusing on with Karsten is that he has this tendency to have a pause. And if you notice that, you saw a little bit of a pause. What we're trying to do is we're gonna keep the the, the shot moving and we're gonna keep the left side is going to have a point where the right side is going to accelerate into it. And so we're trying to increase speed from the point of this. So at once he pushes off his left and he works that push-pull drill, we're gonna be trying to get him to accelerate into it now. Again, because it's to the wall, he's conscious of not trying to hammer it because depending on what type of shot you're using and how close you are to the wall, you can have the shot shooting back on you. So I, optimally, if you can get a little more space, that's great. But this is kind of the area we use at our gym where we lift. And so we use this space quite often and it works out quite well. And again, the primary focus here is when he sets up, we want to have him feel stretch, sink, and continuous rotation. So that's going to have a lot to do with 
what we talked about, the drill down position, the pushing of the knee and pushing and rotating so that it's actually generating power and accelerating the delivery side into the throw. Good. So you're going to notice that he's again still floating his left foot a little bit and so what we're going to be trying to do is we've been working on when we go long from the discus to short in the shot so it's going to be more rotational versus a little bit longer movement here in the discus and in the shot we're trying to come through and turn even longer so now Carson has an issue whereas in his discus he tends to under rotate so when you do the same thing in the shot that's going to really slow down delivery and affect distance again having him switch switch gears from his discus to his shot and that's a big problem a lot of you are going to have and that's where the wall throw comes in it's so much easier so I'm just going to let him go pick it up go pick it up go and we'll just keep on that good solid tempo we'll get in a good number of throws he'll work in some drills and then we're going to break down this video in a little bit more detail for our online members if you're watching okay so he's going to go push good so this is where we would look at what we're seeing is, is where he's re-wrapping so we want to see him kind of rewrap here so this foot's going to come down faster. And so what we want to see is as he's here, he's going to rotate the upper body to here and it's going to kind of hold in this position so he's going to feel more dynamic. He's going to feel the stretch and he's going to feel a very active left arm into delivery. Now, one of the things we focused on in the discus was having his angle. So he's got to get a little bit more loaded. So he's going to feel this and he's going to feel just a touch more here, but push his hips back, hips back, down, drop, chest, there we go, okay, stretch, a little better. So we're going to be continuing work, and you can see the rotation, he wants to push early, and again, part of that is left over. What I always feel is because he was a glider, he has that tendency to want to drive into the throw and kind of finish more like a glider versus rotating through it a little longer. So these would be the things we would continue to focus on. So the idea here though is what we're doing is he's going to be thinking not about distance because he knows it's not going anywhere but here that's the advantage so we can get a ton of reps in, a lot of really good quality throws that are going to be focusing technically. That's how you're going to get better faster. Thank you guys so much. Again we're blazing here. It's a nice beautiful day here in Arizona. This is what this rough winter training is like. If you like this video be sure to give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. If you're a member be sure to log in and check out. We're going to break this down and go into more detail on the wheel, add some of the drills from our pillar drills and discuss pillar connection in a little more depth. And if you're not a member, check out our link below. You can get a free mini course, get a little taste and check out more of our videos here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching and we will see you on the next video. As I stretch, right? This is what a lot of people do. You see this? So they keep their foot and or they do this and they keep their leg closed or they do this.